All right, we're now recording. So if you guys want to, uh, if you guys have questions, Joe, let me know if you're here, brother, and I'll bring you on. Otherwise, I don't know if Joe's in here. Oh, oh. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm here. Oh, he, here he is, bro. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm driving on a road right now that I don't get great signal. So if my... But, yeah. I'm assuming you just said if I get cut off, which you did just get cut off. <laughs> oh, Joe, you like there? <laughs> yep, you're going to be in and out there, brother. Um, dude, if you can hear me, how much of a freaking spot on freaking fire alert was our call on coin today? And how much, dude, it's going to play out like snow, and it did. And Joe's gone. <laughs> nah, yeah, sorry. Can you hear me or no? Uh, it's your Darth Vader, but kind of. <laughs> and okay. All right. Give me like five minutes and then I'll be back. Sounds good, brother. So, uh, guys, just, just a really quick recap for the recording. So people hear this, uh, just really quick, quick recap on this. And then, uh, let's answer some questions. So any questions that you guys have members type them out right here. The reason why I said in the morning when we were on, you know, literally I can't even zoom in. Did I, how funny is that? It's so new, I actually can't even zoom in, but I'll draw a line. So when we were on, this is a new IPO for anybody who doesn't know initial public offering. This is the first trading day of a new equity. This is a company that usually is very overvalued like coin and snow and everything that hits the IPO market lately. But this is something where, um, you know, it, this is the first day trading. You can, I mean, this is literally the first day. If you go on a year chart, this is what you see. Like this is the first day. So we're on a two day, three minute um, with three minute candles. And the reason why, so in the main trading chat, I was saying, you know, for the guys that just coming in or want to know, I was saying when it was doing this run, the IPO formula, man, I've been watching every single one for the last year and a half, Snow, Airbnb, um, Dash, most of them do the exact same thing. You get this initial just panic, 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 bro. This panic buying of every Uber driver, your grandma, every friend you've ever had. And they're like, dude, got to get in coin. This is going to be hot shit. This is going to be the coolest thing in the world, right? This is going to be so freaking cool. And then they're just buying them. These are the guys that are chasing at 429. And then, so the first move is always up, 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 right? Like this euphoria, it seems like. And then you get, dude, a massive down. I'm talking about massive. And this is what we're getting. This is why I have a price target of if it gets to 290, I may start in a little bit for a long-term swing to where I can, you know, start in at 290. Hopefully it goes to 250 and get the majority of my size at like 240. Like that's my plan. But usually what these things do is then they creep back over weeks at a time, or it might even take a couple months. That's why it's a long-term swing and not a day trade is these things creep back on rule three. So it goes up, does a massive down, and then they kind of creep back to even all time highs, man. And the one that's super comparable is for those who don't know. And I, I dude, I literally trade this almost every single day. Uh, one sec. Can you hear me now? I can, buddy. Yeah. Let me, uh, Sweet. So let, me, All right. let me show them. Fuck, I'm getting like a, oh, that's why I can't. I don't know. Hold on one sec. My computer's kind of fucking up. It's not letting me, uh, it's not letting me change the ticker. That's weird. I've never seen that. All right. Well, I showed you guys early on snow. It just does the same pattern, man. It's up, up, up. It's down, down, down massively. And then it creeps back and snow did the same dash did the same. Um, they all do the same, or at least they have for the last year and a half. So that's kind of the proverbial pattern. So right now, Joe, dude, I mean, did we not call this man? Seriously, you can't chase this shit day one long. Oh yeah, man. Absolutely. <laughs> this my is, favorite, this a my favorite thing about these. Yeah. My favorite thing about these, I didn't short it. Um, but I told Brian in our DMS, I was, uh, message him and I was like tell me how this is not a short under 380 I was like tell me how when this loses IPO opening lows how it's not a short tell me how this is not a short he's like dude <laughs> I want to short it just as bad as you do <laughs> and it's like and it's like we want to so bad dude but again on the new IPO man you got to control your FOMO for real yeah I you know I just didn't I didn't take it because I didn't have the time to to really manage the trade either yeah. and and it's really not something i normally trade i don't normally trade ipos that are breaking down on lows but i do know that i'm not going to touch it 
Well, what I do, Joe, what I do in these, man, is I go excruciatingly small size on something like this. So what I do is I usually scoop day two and then it'll continue down into day three. I'll scoop maybe once or twice more and then I'll hold for a long-term long swing because I do believe, and especially Coinbase, man, I really believe in this because who doesn't have a Coinbase these days? Everyone's talking crypto. You know, a lot of people ask me, Tosh, what do you think about Bitcoin? I go, look, dude, I have no fucking say on Bitcoin. I don't know if Bitcoin's going to last today or tomorrow, but I think cryptocurrency is here to stay. And I totally think cryptocurrency is going to be huge, but that's, but, but Bitcoin is not cryptocurrency. That's the difference. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. It's a form of cryptocurrency, but the sector or the niche that is cryptocurrency is here. Most big companies are using it. It is here to stay. It's a new currency, whether people like it or not. It's fucking here, dude. It's here to stay. But here's the thing. Coinbase is a variation of all of cryptocurrency trading. So I actually think that this could be something, but not at these levels. That's the whole thing. You have to protect yourself and hedge against risk. You, you can't tell me Bitcoin is going to be bigger than TD Ameritrade stock. Oh, dude, no, I don't think or, so. Right? No, not sorry, not Bitcoin, Coinbase. Sorry, no, you can't God, tell me Coinbase no, is going to be bigger than TD Ameritrade. God, no, and, God, no. And TD Ameritrade trades at like, what, 80 bucks a share, 40 bucks a share, 70, something like that? I don't know TDA, why. whatever that ticker trades at. I mean, you can't tell me that Coinbase's valuation is, is over $300 a share. In my opinion, Coinbase is going to lose. Yeah, guys, this is TD. 80% of its value. Dude, this is yeah, TD is 66. Yeah, okay, yeah. You can't tell me that Coinbase has a bigger market than TD Ameritrade. Definitely. You can't tell me that. There's no way. Like, there's no freaking way. You and, know, and based on their share structure, sure, they could price it, you know, around 300 or whatever. But I don't think <laughs> – I think the market's going to get flooded with the shares. And as soon as the IPO lockup expires, I don't know what the expiration date is. I think it's just going to keep selling. I think it's overblown as can be. I, I think it's, it's overblown. overblown at these levels, a hundred percent. I mean, I do. I mean, yeah. my ideal, my ideal price target on something like this is dude, like two forty. Seriously. Um, yeah. But yeah. when you start in massively slow on something like this, and obviously everybody, you know, the size is relative, so it's not even like specifics of who trades what. It's really just like, you know, like, you know, what could be small for me might be big for somebody else and vice versa. You know, that's just how it goes. But again, man, if you're getting into something like coin, it's not a day trade yet because it hasn't conformed to any freaking lines. And if you do get into this, you have to start massively small, man, because it is a bit more on the gamble side. It's not well established like Coca-Cola and Misfit is. It's just not. Yeah. So this was a pattern back when... <clears throat> Lyft and Uber and Slack and really when we had that, you know, IPO sector craze, I think that was uh, late 2019, early 2020, where we just had like all kinds of like DoorDash, um, then Airbnb and then Snow. There was just a ton of popular companies that were IPOing and this pattern that, that, that coin is doing right now is the same thing that was happening. It's when, and it applies to the MIC strategy. It's, it's really, it's almost an IPO death line. It's whenever it loses that opening low, because that's the only range that's established is when it opens, the only thing we know is the low, right? We don't know how high it's going to go. And honestly, we don't know how low it's going to go, but when it opens and pushes, now we know, you know, this is a breakdown under that level. It's probably going to fade. And if you guys go back and look at those tickers, I just named off, look at what happens when it lost its low of that opening bar. Joe, let, let, me, let me pull them up. Cause I, I found a way to pull up my charts. I was having a, I was having like a glitch on the other ones, but dude, I mean, let's go through this. So there's, you have snow. That was the first one we call Yeah, Look at snow. <laughs> just look at a daily chart and just look yeah, at me, when it opens up. One sec, one sec. Let me remove these lines. I don't even remember what lines these are. Let's go to five year, which it doesn't even have five year, but yeah, um, yeah, it has been over the it's, it's got now, a year. Go back to the very like first few weeks. Just Dude, zoom into the first this few is weeks. This is the first day. It's doing at, same yeah. shit. Look at what oh, happens dude. when it loses those lows. It it inherently has those panic wicks to the downside, and you can get some good day trades off of it. 
uh, DoorDash, you know, Dash, D-A-S-H. Yep, let's take a look. Same thing, same thing. Same Love thing. Look now. at when it loses those lows and just fades. <laughs> look and at then, this day, bro. Look at this day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, Airbnb, or Airbnb. Uh, Lyft. Go to Lyft. Well, dude, look at Airbnb. Did the same, Joe. Up, yeah, Airbnb did the same week. thing. Right, then right back. There's the creep. There's the creep. And then yep. um, Lyft was one of them. Dude, look at this is still th this is different in the sense though, guys, that holy shit, man, this just honestly kept selling and it didn't creep back up to highs within like a given month yep. like the others. This is this was a th this was a drought. Like, holy shit, dude. You imagine being in the 80s long with some decent size because you're like, bro, this is Lyft. I see them everywhere. There's gonna be a massive company, and then you're at 14. Yep. Woo! Yeah, this pattern, this pattern happened a ton. Uh, Slack, which was work, did the same thing. Uh, wait, wait, really quick, Joe. Um, um, did, I think Uber did the same though, really quick, right? Since we're on that one. Oh yeah, yeah Uber did the same. Yep. yep. And then uh, loses and then that work. opening low and panics, and then work. Look at that big. Look at that from uh, the very beginning, I, bro. I'm disgusted with myself. I can barely look at this freaking chart because this golden line. Uh, I was yep. long in here, bro. I was super long, and I had some decent size. Guess where I got rid of it there motherfucker dude <laughs> i like because because i remember joe it was like i had held it for months dude i was like yep. here and adding a little bit on like some of these dude I, i'm not kidding i literally like got out like right here and then they had that news and i was like are you kidding me like <laughs> are you kidding oh that's like, a bummer I, I can't even look at this stock dude without getting mad <laughs> yeah but look at this, dude. It's barely over the IPO. It's actually, dude, it's, it's, it's barely over the initial high of the first day. Yep. It's actually under the first high. <laughs> like, it's insane, yep. dude. Snow? Yeah, this is, this is honestly my favorite. That's when an IPO comes out. I don't get excited to, to long. I get excited to short. I get excited because to long on an since, exaggerated level. Yeah, since 2019 – this IPO hype on anything that people have like wanted to IPO is so overblown that it just gets murdered. I, I totally agree, bro. I totally agree. I totally agree. And the thing about IPOs, man, because they're so new and they're finding their identity. I mean, who even knew snow would do this kind of bull run? Like, dude, who could have predicted that you're hitting lows of 209 and then you see 429? Dude, a month later, literally a month later. Like, that's crazy. That was insane. Yeah, man. And then, and then, and then, you know, like nobody even knows what snow is. Ask a hundred people in your inner circle. They have no idea what snow is. Everybody knows what the hell Uber is. And Uber died for the first eight months or whatever it was, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Sometimes you just can't predict these. You know what I mean? They're more right. gambles than anything, in my opinion. So the title of this video <laughs> is Should You Invest in Coinbase? Joe, you want to take it off? Take it from there? Uh, no. Absolutely, <laughs> no. you should not. <laughs> no, not at all. No, not at these levels. You invest when you see value. How is there value on a 300-something dollars stock where its competitors trade at you know, $70 a share. There's no value there. Um, yeah, I, I don't think, I, I do not think that um, Coinbase will be bigger than somebody like TD Ameritrade. Um, TD Ameritrade's got their hand in literally everything. Everything. Um, I just don't, I don't, I, I don't think that, Coinbase is worth five times what TD Ameritrade is. That's crazy. There's no, the numbers don't support that. That is crazy to think. Again, man, again, just a moment of silence for the guy that's stuck at one four twenty nine. Like Mike. Oh, Meek Mills. That's Meek Mills. <laughs> Meek Mill and Chris Brown got in right there, huh? Yeah. Did you see Meek Mills tweet? No, I didn't. Are you actually speaking on facts? Did you like? Was I'm he speaking on facts? Yeah. Get Look out of here! What are you channel? Four hundred. Meek Mill tweeted Coinbase like diamonds at one thirty-five market time, oh, which boy. is the dead fucking top. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you 
he's gonna have to do a couple more albums to pay for that car. <laughs> Jeez, dude, that's that's. I'm sure. Sam yeah. Is super happy. Yeah, I'm pretty that. sure. I'm pretty sure Meek Mill. <laughs> Yo, <on the> top. <laughs> Meek, Meek, Meek Mill is going Meek downhill. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. His, his account is gonna be pretty Meek pretty soon. <laughs> pretty Meek. <laughs> It's gonna uh, have a meek account balance. <laughs> we are not making fun of people, guys. We do not find any <laughs> people losing money. That is just if it, it's just it just shows the idiocy of uneducated money. And I'm not even calling Meek Mill out. I'm calling anybody that's willing to rush into shit they don't understand. And and unfortunately, it happens every single day. And fortunately for us, is smart money takes from the dumb money. And welcome to capitalism. Welcome, you know, if you live in the U.S. and you live under capitalist, you know, capitalistic rule and, uh, you know, that's what I'm, I'm just telling you, man, that's, that's the way it is. So educate yourselves and you'll learn how to take advantage of things like this. I'll call him dumb. That was pretty dumb. That was pretty dumb. I mean, that, come on, me. Stick to Miley Cyrus. That was, Quit buying <laughs> Coinbase. That was pretty damn stupid. <laughs> that was pretty Dude, retarded. Because, like, if that he wrote it. If he got in some here, dude, I, I'm all with that. I'm for that. You waited for a hundred point down. This thing will bounce, but my God, man, like four. Oh, he's like diamond hands. <laughs> Top. Top. <laughs> Top. What's, what's the best indicator at MIC for a top when someone says diamond hands? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe's a savage, dude. Joe's absolutely. That's Texan blood, baby. God. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. That was, that was probably the stupidest tweet I've seen all day. Now, <laughs> last night, last night we were, and I'll tell you guys this: this is, if you ever need a good laugh, go read Stock Twits. Oh, um, last night, somebody commented on Stock Twits. They said bears and shorts are all over this stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh Lord. Have mercy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Lord. Bears and shorts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alex Alex is reading that freaking stock twit, and he's like, ain't God good. <laughs> like, he just loves that <laughs> some money. It was just, it was comedic glory is what it was. I was <laughs> like, this could not get better. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, dude. So uh, now the joke. I'll tell you the ongoing joke, and then let's get to the Q and A. But this <laughs> yeah, is fun. So, so for those of you, uh, ha Tosh, did you ever watch New Girl? Uh, I never did, but you told me it was pretty good. Bro, you have to. I swear on my life, if you love the type of humor, like you know, uh, I think they're here for Kenny's birthday. Oh God, type of humor. You're going to love New Girl, bro. Joe, I Joe promise gives, you. Dude, Joe gives seriously good recommendations for shows, guys. He's never done me wrong. So <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to start watching New Girl. I'm so anyway, on New Girl, you know, Jess is the main character. It's the gal. That's the girl, right? It's Zoe Deschanel. And she has three roommates. One of them, I just, I, I love this dude. I think he's freaking hilarious. But he, his name is Nick in the show. Okay. And Nick is like ultra sarcastic okay and so jess starts dating this teacher it's like a music teacher maybe or something like that like she is she's a teacher and she starts dating this other nerdy teacher and nick thinks he's just an idiot and he's just annoying and he doesn't like him but the guy is always trying to be nick's friend and be nice to him and so one of the like biggest dick moves that Nick ever did to the guy was the guy comes over to the apartment to, and they all, all four of them live together in a flat in LA or wherever the hell they live. And he comes over to the apartment and he walks in and he's, he's talking to Jess and he sees Nick sitting in the living room. He goes, Hey Nick. And Nick goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's just out. He doesn't even say hi. He just says, okay. <laughs> hey, That's Nick. Great. Okay. That's great. <laughs> like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard. And so the joke is now when somebody, when somebody does something dumb, I just go, okay. <laughs> okay. 
so that that's where everybody's doing this like where or travers was like meek tweets diamond hands and joe's like okay <laughs> <laughs> dude, i'm gonna have to get on dude it's it's in one of the first few seasons so you'll see it and you're just gonna dude you're gonna die i swear well, to you you're gonna die laughing Shit's creek was the best recommendation of a show ever dude <laughs> Dude, I love you, David. I love. <laughs> so after, after I that love. After that I love. I think Alexis is is hilarious. I think she's yeah. hilarious. I love her attitude. It's the absolute best. Is you can't be. <laughs> I think they're it. freaking funny. But anyway, guys. So that's that. Who's got some questions for us, guys? Whether it be shows, whether it be price action, whether it be MIC questions, what you're gonna get? Who's got some questions? Can one of the mods jump on the YouTube? Anybody that's in here, jump on the YouTube and copy and paste any questions from there. I'm trying to do it on my phone. I'm mobile today, but I don't see any. Uh, I can't. I can't watch the Zoom and the YouTube at the here, same actually, time. Hold on, Joe. Let me let me pull up the uh, let me pull up some of the YouTube. One sec. Okay. Usually, All right. So I'm gonna read the. I'm gonna read this question off real quick. I usually let like you do it, but let me let me see if I can see some questions. <laughs> yeah. So when shorting small caps, VTVT, for example, I had 350, 370 with a stop at 385. It tanks at the open. 30 minutes later, the stock is at. Oh, sorry. Alert on my phone. Stock is at VWAP. Can a person take a position there with a stop above VWAP, or is it best to forget about it and move on? Uh. So was VTVT a low hanger? I noticed that had been running for several days. So was that a low hanger? BTVT? Yeah. Simple not enough. BT, not B is it? Yeah, no, uh, uh, is yeah, with a, yeah. He is in Victor. Um, yes, yes, it was because this is the big initial run the first day yesterday. Where and then this is a low hanger. Unfortunately, though, is it didn't run today. So you can't chase this. So, you know, there's no play in this. But if this would have ran to outer pivot lines, so something like this, guys, is what you want to do is you want to put your pivot lines on. So let's put the pivs. And then um, also, yeah, go ahead, Joe. John, John, or I think, <clears throat> I think John has access to the accelerator course. This question right here, I address this exact scenario, and I'm not going to give away the edge in our free webinar, but I address this exact scenario in that course, and I talk about the entire edge of a low hanger in full detail. Um, yeah, so there, there's a lot in the accelerator about this exact setup. If you have the accelerator, go back through that, rewatch the low hanger section, and uh, it will answer this question in full detail. Me and Tosh will give a, you know, a free explanation. Yeah. Um, but if you want some more detail on that, you know, of course, DM me if you want to, uh, but you know, there, there's. There's a lot more to this setup than just just kind of being able to short it at VWAP. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If that makes sense. Big yeah. time. Big time. Yeah. So like Tosh said, you know, you got to throw pivots on there first off. I mean, you, if if you're talking about a if you're talking about a low hanger, you don't have pivots on your chart, you're already two steps behind. Well, and here's the thing, you know, with pivots, guys, just because there's a pivot here doesn't mean if it stays under go, it feels like a chase, right? I only like outer pivots, and I can't even see the next pivot, so I wouldn't have played this if there was a pivot right here. Um, I'll draw a line. This would have been the most ideal pivot. If there was a pivot right here that co-aligned, co um, let's, let's blow this up a little bit. They kind of aligned this white line with the previous tops. I would have been on something like this. See, you got a top here. You got a top yep. here. You got a, literally a little top here. You got a top here. Like this is the general area where there's major resistance. So if there was a pivot right here in this general area, I would have been all over it. But because this didn't bounce, I'm not going to chase. I'll never chase. So, you know, you also, again, once you put the pivots on your chart, you got to have it align with a good entry. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, yeah, VTVT closed rather strong. Dude, from it what did, I could it see. Bounce. Like, this is just, bleh. this is the market that we're in. Dude, we need a big runner to come and light this stuff up. And VTVT is one of those stocks that has that potential. I mean, it's it's a known ticker, even right. though they're a pile of trash. It's a known ticker, and all it takes is a known ticker, a small float, 
and a little bit of institutional or, or, or algo manipulation and everybody's faces are ripped off. Well, and let's be honest, Joe, you know, most of the major, major runners that rip, rip everybody's, you know, everybody's face off are the biggest turds. They're the biggest turds. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, gotta, because it sucks in the shorts. You need it to be a turd. You need because shorts you need are going to be like, oh, this is a pile of crap. <laughs> it's a pile of crap. It needs to be a turd. Otherwise, Dude, it, it doesn't work. If it isn't a turd, it doesn't work. Like, yeah. All right, got a question on uh, YouTube. Should I invest in XRP, guys? We are not crypto based. I have no idea. And any kind of crypto questions, I really don't know. Leo, I have no freaking idea, bro. When it comes to crypto, it's. I always tell people this. If you're a day trader, sure, learn how to day trade them by someone who teaches that. We do not teach that, not yet at least, because we don't have a crypto specialist. Second, um, if it comes to investing in it, it I, I say it like this. It, I've been asked many times, and this is not financial advice, but I do believe that if you have a portfolio, you can allocate 5% of your portfolio to crypto. That is my personal opinion. It's not XRP. It's not EOS. It's not Bitcoin specifically. I do think cryptocurrency is here to stay. And if you did want to put a very small percentage for gamble money and know that it's gamble money, go ahead. But any more than 5%, you're, I, I feel you're a gambler. I just do. With Bitcoin trading at all-time highs, I don't think an investment on any crypto is a smart decision right now. Um, I agree. Because you're basically, you're, it, you don't buy an investment at all time highs. You buy oh, an investment oh, when there's value. Joe, that's there's why, no, I, dude, that's why yeah. I didn't build a house in January, bro. Every lumber, windows, every fucking thing took the house that I wanted to buy at 600,000 to 850. I was like, I'll just chill, dude. I'll wait for a market drop. <laughs> You're like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm like, I'm good, dude. But I, bro, I got the builder plans and everything ready. I was going to green yeah. that sucker overnight. That's the point, guys. I don't care what market you're in. I don't care what sector you're in, asset class, anything. I don't care if it's gold and silver and tangible yep. versions. Don't chase. Yep. YouTube question. Can a beginner join and be successful? And has a beginner ever been successful after joining MIC? Absolutely. Oh, dude. I'm Absolutely. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me, where's my, where's my freaking bar? Guys, guys. Our moderator list, has anyone joined and been successful? Dude, like, okay, first off, our moderators were not moderators. They were members. Dude, James was a trader who couldn't make a dollar. Now he makes $1,000 a day. We made him a moderator. Austin became a moderator. Joe Kelly, dude, Joe was just a member at one point three years ago. Oliver was just yep. a member. Harry was a member. Tom Diesel was a member. Bear, dude, everybody was just a member, and they got so good with our teachings, they became fucking boss-ass bitches. <laughs> Especially Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Part yeah. of the criteria was, you know, you have to know the process. You can't, that, that's what's different about MIC is it's not, it's not 15 different people teaching 15 different strategies. It's 15 different people teaching the same strategy. Yep. And so it's, that's what you want. You don't go to a college or a university trying to be taught different ways, right? You know, if you go to get an education, they're not going to teach you that two plus two is five here. And then two plus two is four here. But because this other team, you know, everybody has their own way of making money in the market. Absolutely. But in my opinion, you have to have everybody on the same team teaching the same process, because if you don't, you're going to contradict one, you're going to contradict one another and you can't have contradicting processes or strategies when you're trying to teach people that, have no background knowing what is uh, not going to work for them and what is going to work for them. Oh, dude, you have to, you have to have that consistency. It's got to be consistent in what you teach in order to have consistency in what you trade. I love it. Well, yeah. And, and that's the thing guys. So when you're asking, should I invest in XRP? 
dude, we don't speak on what we don't know. I'm not a crypto investor. I've got like a little bit of EOS coin because my best friend knows some insider bullshit that he told me. And he's like, dude, I think he's going to heaven. So I'm like, okay, I'll throw a couple thousand in. I think I threw 4,000 in the EOS. It's gamble money, dude. I have no fucking idea. I'm expecting it to go to zero. Like, it's just like, I'm going to throw a couple thousand on the Jake Paul fight because I know it's gamble money. I have no idea, dude. We're not crypto investors, but we're not going to speak. Wasn't that a... Volkswagen? <laughs> What's that? EOS? Wasn't EOS a Volkswagen car? <laughs> Probably, dude. It's the all going EOS or the EOS or something like that? <laughs> the Equinox or the Equal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. I think it's a the gym, dude. Equinox. I think it's a gym. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. It's uh, I don't either, man, but I threw some gamble money in. Fuck it. Can you talk about the 2 p.m. market drop? Uh, uh, you talking about the market drop world? is – I think the market – I think the market pullback today is due to this Coinbase IPO. You know, there's a lot of oh, hype behind oh, it. Oh, you're talking about the SPY. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Um, Where'd that know, come spy started. The SPY started pulling back when coins started breaking under 380, like I fucking said. No shit. Um, yeah. And so the market was, was pulling back at the same time. You know, there's no real catalyst behind the pullback. Um, every, every kind of PR that's come out has been, has been a bullish type of PR. I just think there was a lot of hype around this whole Coinbase thing and it, and it's, and it has affected the market today, tomorrow, probably a different story. The hype will die. So all this is, is basically just power in the hands of the people with crypto power in the hands of the people away from <laughs> big companies and organizations. That's all this is probably. Dude, I'll tell you the most, I'll tell you the biggest irony. A oh, that broker. it's actually trading under regulated systems now. <laughs> yes, a broker focused on decentralization. <laughs> Literally. Trades on the New York Stock Exchange now. Okay. All uh, right. Okay. How does that even make All sense? All right. Yeah. We're here to kill the dollar. I'm here to kill the USD. So let's get on it. List, I need to raise some money. What? what? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> okay. <laughs> GBTC, guys, this is basically, I don't even know what you call this. Is it a mutual fund? Is it an index? This is called the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, BTC. This is actually a quote unquote stock uh, or a ticker in the market that tracks the price of Bitcoin, which <laughs> defeats the whole purpose. Because if you're investing in this, hey. it's not actually buying Bitcoin, which is a finite quantity. And it's just, it's just funny, man. It's just, it's so ironic with all this shit. That's why, look, I'm yeah. not talking investors of crypto. I think crypto is huge, will be huge, and is here to stay in some form or another. But it is funny with all this hypocrisy going on. Yeah, I just think it's, I think it's comedic. It, 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 not that there's not trade opportunities there. there totally, are. Totally. I mean, and money is money. You know, it all spins the same. But, you know, I think that there's a good joke behind that. Definitely a good, definitely a good laugh. Well, it's just very ironic. That's what it is. It's very ironic. And specifically coin trade. Oh, nice bounce. 310 to 344. But, but that is funny about coin like trading on, you know, you know, in our real markets because yeah, it's, it's, it's just. The it's whole idea is to trade the, to be able to trade the stocks that are supposed to kill the U.S. dollar and break right. us away from that standard. It's, now, now are trying to raise dollars by selling stock. But the one thing, <laughs> exactly. But the one thing I will say <laughs> is at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, sometimes it doesn't matter some of the logistics because so much demand is there. And that's more of what I'd be going on if I put any money into the coin long or a swing and long, because I go also where sentiment is. And I think that there's so much dumb money that will pour in this in the coming months. I really do. But yeah. That's a personal opinion. You know, that's personal opinion. And that's more of like a little bit more of a gamble swing, not like a, oh, dude, Coca-Cola, or like I said, you know, the really good companies that you can, ba that you can bank on. There's I'm going to wait to buy it at the 200-day moving average. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's, Joe's <laughs> big long at 200. <laughs> yeah, <that's funny. laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Dogecoin is skyrocketing the best investment in 2021 bar none get in and buy more now or you'll be left behind Elon Musk is never wrong by the dip Fox Mulder um, <laughs> we, we clearly see you have Dogecoin 
<laughs> um, I'm <laughs> good luck with that, bro. I <laughs> not my wish you the best. No, wish you the best, brother. That's all I gotta say. Wish you the best. I have no, I have no idea. Uh, anybody got qu stock questions oh. for us, guys? Maybe, maybe no crypto, but if it's Coinbase questions, sure. But because that's very specific to this webinar. But do you guys have any stock questions as well, or market questions, or questions of any kind? Questions of joining MIC. Questions of what Joe's gonna put on the uh, barbecue tonight. Joe, what do you got, man? What are you cooking up? Yeah. Dude, last night I made a Cajun pasta. I, I, gotta, I, I gotta tell you, dude. I like. I wish like like you were my like, my college roommate or something, dude. I almost wish I could live with you now, bro. Every time I see you, you're cooking <laughs> these massive freaking like Viking style dinners where you just use your hands and rip them off, dude. <laughs> I'm like, it'd be fun, man. It'd be fun to go back in time and be like, yeah, Joe Kelly was my roommate, man. All we did was barbecue every day for a year. Dude, it, um, yeah, last night I made this, yeah, Cajun chicken pasta with a filet. So it was pretty good. My God, man, I can hear your stomach rumbling from here. <laughs> I'm actually sitting in front of a restaurant right now doing this webinar. <laughs> as I heard, soon as we're I, done, I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I heard like a motorcycle go by. It sounded like your stomach. Oh, yeah. No, no, a bunch of traffic in front of me. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Any other questions, guys? Small cap land is doing what it did in summer 2019, so y'all be careful out there. Um, like Alex has been warning, Alex and Bao and Tosh and everybody in there has been warning, it, it only takes one to light it up. And but it only takes one. Yep. In my opinion, this is a good summer to take off. Uh, that's kind of my plan. My plan is to not really, uh, not really be around trading very much. You know, I'll be around in the chat room helping, but uh, I don't plan to trade much this summer. Joe, I don't think any of us do, man. If it, it, what I'm excited for in the markets, guys, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. What to get excited for in the markets going forward? I love volatility. Uh, earning, yep. Joe, when, when exactly is earnings week coming up for biggies? When do we get like Amazon? When do we get like Tesla? When do we get like Netflix coming up? They're soon, right? Uh, I don't know when those are particularly exactly by the date, but I do know that the banks started reporting earnings today. Uh, so I think JP Morgan was today. And so they'll start rolling through, you know, the next week or two. Yeah, yep. but, but start they're having up. a lot of them. They're yep. coming up. So what that means for us guys is, is if you're just a small cap trader, unfortunately you have to abide by the, the volatility of the markets guys, which is very minuscule right now. I mean, we just looked at VTVT. This is supposed to be a low hanger. Look what this did, dude. It, bleh, like it just, bleh, like it just buff kiss, dude. It's nothing. So it just yeah. rolled out the gate. So when, what was the other one today? BTBT? Uh, BT. Yeah. I was so confused. I was like, what the hell? Wow. Um, this had a little bit of oh geez that's a pricey stock yeah that's the thing it's kind of non-niche it's not really a you know it doesn't it, yeah sure it traded like a small cap today but again like that classic category of small cap you know what i mean so it's mm -hmm. slipping into small caps right now so what i'm excited going forward is i like volatility I will be all over big caps and earnings next week for swings. I love that. The, volatil the volatility, the demand is there. Um, I highly recommend if you're not a big cap trader yet, guys, get a bite your ego. And I don't care if you make a million a year small cap trading and you don't know how big caps work. Dude, get on a simulator for two weeks during earnings week and learn the volatility of big caps and use line, like, like expand your playbook so that when you get slow periods like this on small caps, you can now go in and make money in another way. That's what I'm doing. Like, I don't care how slow it is in small caps right now. Cause I've been banging out Tesla swings and snow and, and zoom and, and all my favorite big caps. So just learn as much as you can, man. Really like, um, uh, just branch out if you're to the level where you can branch out. Cause I know when you're still learning just something like small caps, it's, it's very hard, man. You're still trying to figure that out. It's just right now, unfortunately it is summer and it doesn't look like it's going to be exactly like 2020 summer, which was what felt like once in a lifetime. It probably was once in a lifetime. I God, fucking hope it was yeah. once in a lifetime. I don't want to do another pandemic. 
<laughs> you know, well, please, no pandemic. I don't want to do another one of those. I hope that's once in a lifetime again. <laughs> For real, dude. I'm telling you. The, the effects are still freaking mind boggling. I'm like, dude. Although, although they did just release. Um, uh, but they did just release a bunch of orders where unless you're a privately owned restaurant or something, dude, I can basically walk in anywhere in Arizona right now, even in the restaurants without a mask, which is, um, oh, now you're talking dirty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I went to breakfast today and oh. I was like, oh dude, I forgot my mask. He's like, I don't give a shit. He's like, dude, it doesn't matter anymore. I was like, get out of here. Oh yes. <laughs> now I'm talking dirty guys. Here's oh. what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, today, we're going to do a promo. I talked with Alex a little bit earlier. He's, uh, he wants to give you guys the opportunity to join for anybody who's not. Um, I'm going to – let's think of a keyword. What about um, – Coin. Oh, what about coin Coinbase. Coinbase. Dude, text Coinbase to my business line today, and uh, I'm going to do something for you on a custom deal, custom quarterly, maybe a custom annual, maybe include accelerator course or something. It'll be – Obviously, a case-by-case -case scenario, as some are already members. Maybe someone wants to upgrade. But text me Coinbase, and uh, I'll take care of you today, and we'll get you in the club if you're not a member already. Um, hopefully, this webinar was kind of a good introduction into what we do, kind of like how we navigate, what we look for. Um, if you still have any questions, guys, we'll, we can give it about five more minutes. And then also, my business line is always open. But for promos, discount uh, – uh, yeah, for promo – uh, text Coinbase. Um, what is the market cap of Coinbase? Do we do we have that info? Oh God! Uh, I, 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 How many I, shares I, outstanding are there? Who's got that for us? Who's got? I that? haven't read the filings, so if anybody has that info, I just I'm I'm back to this. I'm, I just keep going back to this like valuation of. I just want to know what the market cap is based on, you know, I know it's a $300 stock. Um, Showing 185 mil on TOS. Shares outstanding. That's what he's saying. Thank you, Drink wow. Man. That is grotesque. <laughs> How do you really feel, Joe? Ah, uh, dang, 185 million. Okay. Times what is it trading at? Three forty. Three thirty-five right now. Three thirty-four. Joe Joe's gonna hit us with some fundies. So with some fundies magic. Is that that's sixty-two point nine billion? Right? Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the. I'm sure it is. No, I'm just asking in the general. As the general, you know, is so is that. That's a $62.9 billion market cap. Um, Yikes. What is TD's market cap? TDA on Fin. Just look at FinViz real fast. Just TDA. TDA. is only trading at 66, bro. No, TDA. TDA. Oh, TDA. Oh, TDA. What's TDA trading at? What the fuck is this? Oh. What is that? Oh, hang on. TDA? What is TDA? AMTD. I'm sorry. AMTD. I'm smoking crack. AMTD. I'm like, dude, what the thing are you trying ah. to pump, bro? <laughs> and now that was the previous company, ticker name. See, dude, I don't even ever look at this shit. I, I, it's not even pulling up. It, I don't know what TD Ameritrade's ticker is. Somebody tell me what TD Ameritrade's ticker is. I thought it was TD. Was it TD? No? Oh, I guess not. That's no? Toronto Dominion Bank. Never mind. I have no idea. I, dude, I Telephone no and data systems. <laughs> <laughs> What is TD Ameritrade? Back, back to watching Coinbase go to 290, baby. Let's go. I know, right? Jeez. That was the pop right there. That was it. GLG? Are you serious? No, come on. No, it's not. No, you're not. What, what is that? It's what not. is that? What are you pumping? <laughs> oh, shit. No. No, TD Holdings, Inc. Let me just pull up the app and see if they try to pitch me their stock. <laughs> Man, Q's getting slaughtered, bro. I'm loving this. I am loving this. This is going to bottom out all my favorite tech stocks for the week. This is th – give me one or two more days of this, please. Klaus says it's GLG. Ugh. 
Wow, Tesla's going through the floor. Nice. Dude, I exited pre-market and then in the open. That was great. Great exits. He goes, nope. Yeah, but AMT is not even pulling up. It says it is TD Ameritrade Holdings, but it's not even pulling up. I feel like we're like in, in uh, what's that movie, Zoolander? Like when they're breaking over the computer, like two monkeys. Like we're just, <laughs> like, we have no idea. We're like Dude, two I, I don't. Love just, <laughs> we have I can't no believe idea. I can't find this freaking stock. Uh, it's all good, man. No, dude, I'm trying to AMTD. It yeah, is. it's. Well, nothing's pulling up. Yeah, it's AMTD. I can't even pull it up. I don't know why. It's because of Coinbase. I blame Coinbase. Damn! Coinbase selling off on pops. Is TD Ameritrade still uh, traded or was it absorbed by the mergers? I mean, you can still trade on it. On Thinkorswim. Oh, wait. Didn't Schwab <laughs> buy TD? Did they? Oh, that's right, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Schwab bought TD. Oh, so Klaus, Schwab. Klaus can pull it up. I guess it's me. Klaus pulling it up. Yeah, see? No shit. AMTD. All right, it's trading at $40. Looks like. Yeah, so the point here is <clears throat> the point that I'm making was TD Ameritrade. Yeah, I forgot about that. TD Ameritrade market cap is Is that right? 16 billion? Does that sound right? Doesn't sound right to me. No. That's wrong. Hey, I just go line in line, man. Yo, I'm telling you, that that's really all it's about. That's <laughs> you don't so need trying, all this extra. I'm trying stuff. to hit you with this freaking juju. I just go line to line, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, the point is, you know, is is Coinbase a buy? No, it, and it's solely based on the fact that that it the market cap alone is just. It, this is not a seventy billion dollar company. It's not a seventy billion dollar company. And no way, Joe. If you say it is. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, man. Guys, any closing questions for me and Joe? Because I know he's in front of an Arby's and the boy is hungry. An Arby's. <laughs> we have the meats. <laughs> We've got the meats. S-C-H-W for Charles Schwab. Yeah, yeah. Their market cap is $128 billion. Trade net of so, 69 shares. <laughs> so, I mean... Coinbase being worth half as much as Swab is, I, dude, I just don't see value there. I don't see value in that value in that in that in these levels in 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 uh, in Coinbase. I don't see it. I don't see it. Well, you're John Cena then. I'm telling you, man. I'm not a believer. Not a believer. Coinbase shoots at 800 tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, like it, it might. It might. I never know. You know, I don't know. Can but I, I can. Yeah, I can tell you. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think there's value here. There's no value here. I wouldn't buy Coinbase. Wouldn't buy it with my worst enemy's money. I wouldn't do it. Not. And we know who that is. He's got a ginger crotch. <laughs> <laughs> my worst enemy is vegans. <laughs> that, that is definitely your worst that's like david and goliath right there guys i wouldn't buy this with a vegan's money i'm sorry oren if you're here listening oren's vegan there you go i think so i don't know joe joe just likes to slaughter everything stocks animals <laughs> terrible freaking person he's terrible <laughs> guys here's what we're gonna do man text me coinbase we're going to get you started with the accelerator course. If you're struggling, I guarantee you're going to get value in it. I'm not saying you're going to be Alex tomorrow, but dude, you are going to get freaking value. If you want to be a part of MIC, there's no better place to learn trading. We have fun. We laugh all day. 
whether it's after hours, whether it's with Joe, whether we're talking crazy stuff, whether we're talking fun stuff, dude, you're missing out on so much fun and education. I'm telling you. Alex just texted me about that vegan comment. <laughs> Alex listen. That means Alex is gonna listen. Alex is in here. What's up, Alex? That sneaky son of. A- I think I'm gonna get written up. <laughs> no, he probably agreed with you. Be coaching after this. He probably agreed listen, with you. Listen, man. Can't be talking about vegans like that. You know, it's 2021. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet he just. I bet he just texted a bunch of heart eyes. <laughs> Oh man, you heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first, man. Stay away from um, stay away from these IPOs in the first couple of days. Be safe out there. Text us Coinbase. We're gonna get you in. We're gonna throw you a fat freaking discount, especially the annual, because uh, I'm doing a really cool deal right now, man. Where I'm including the accelerator course uh, with an annual purchase, so we can talk numbers there. If you guys have any general questions whatsoever hit my line. Me and Joe will take care of you. Alex will secretly take care of you because he's always in the back listening. Let me tell you, (laughs) that's evidence right there. And then uh, dudes, enjoy your nights. And remember in this market, it is very slow, but that doesn't mean you watch tickers that aren't moving all day. You watch our video library and you learn big caps. You learn options. Guys, we have options, big caps, small caps, short, long puts calls. There's nothing we don't do. We, well, we don't do crypto yet or Forex, but we do the we do the main stuff. So I'm and lastly, you, don't buy Playboy NFTs. I completely strongly disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you never been on the internet? Porn is the easiest thing to find. Listen, man, I want to feel like I own it though. <laughs> <laughs> That's very creepy. <laughs> dude, I wouldn't buy an. I NFT own of any this flavor, photo of her. Okay, All right. dude, I'm not. I'm not buying NFTs of any flavor, let alone an X Vids backside <laughs> NFT. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not I... to get too rated R. <laughs> we'll see. You guys. I'm, not, I'm just telling you, don't buy Playboy NFTs. Joe Arby's is calling. Tap it before you tap it. <laughs> He's sicko. See you guys. <laughs> Text point base. See you, man. <laughs>